Hey, how's it going, everyone? This is the Anime Man. Notice me, Senpai! Oh my god, I love you, Joey Senpai. Senpai, Senpai, Senpai. Now, if you've been on the internet for the past year or so, then you would have definitely heard this word somewhere. This word pops up everywhere. Senpai. What? actually is it? A lot of people use this term and probably don't actually know what the full meaning of the word senpai is, where it comes from, and why it is so important to the Japanese language. So, Joey Sensei is going to show you guys why the word senpai exists and why it is important in understanding not only the Japanese language but also the Japanese culture in general. Yoshiku there. Now the word senpai it, when written in kanji looks like this. Now, if you guys know Japanese or don't know Japanese, every Japanese kanji character has a meaning of its own. And thus, when putting certain characters together, create an entire new word. Thus, the formation of the Japanese language. Now going back to the word senpai, you can see that there are two characters. Sen and pai. Now the first character, sen, means a head. If you read it just by itself, it's saki, meaning ahead, going ahead before. And the second kanji, pai, by itself is read as yakara. Yakara being a very old term said probably in the feudal Japanese era, meaning being, like an actual human being. That's why there is an old Japanese word for the word I, which is waga hai. Waga meaning me. Hai mean being. Therefore, my being. Me. I. So therefore, we can see that senpai actually means before being. Therefore, before me. Okay, Joey Senpai, we get it. Like, we've seen anime before, and we've seen in, like, school anime saying, like, whoever Senpai, and we actually know that Senpai actually means, like, upperclassman, therefore, like, a person who is, like, above my grade. So, like, why are you telling us this? Like, why is this important? Well, let me tell you, sassy version of me. Yes, it is true that if you guys have seen anime series before, or read manga series before, then you have most likely heard of the word Senpai, and you would most likely know that Senpai is used as a term meaning upperclassmen. Therefore, if I'm in the second grade, a person in the third, fourth, fifth grade would be my senpai. Now, I'm sure the majority of you guys would know, but maybe some of you don't know, that there is the opposite of senpai, which is kohai. Ko meaning after, and hai meaning being. Therefore, an underclassman. So, if I'm in the second grade, then to the people in the third, fourth, fifth grade, I am their kohai. But the word senpai and kohai doesn't actually stop at school. In fact, it can be carried on throughout your entire lifetime. If you are at work, then a person who has been in the same office as you for, say, a, few, a month before, or maybe a year before, or even maybe 10 years before, is considered your senpai in that workplace. On the contrary to that senpai, I am their kohai because I came in after them. Okay, cool. So like senpai is like, yeah, awesome. We, we can call them senpai. So we can just be like, hi, whoever senpai, like, how are you? Fucking, you're looking absolutely fantastic. Well, it's not actually that easy, bitchy me. And that's where Japanese starts to get quite difficult for some people. Because now we are going to throw in the theory of keigo. Now, if you guys don't know, keigo is a level of Japanese speaking that is a lot more polite and less casual compared to the regular kind of Japanese, which we call tameguchi. Now, this difference in tameguchi and keigo is going to differentiate between senpais and kohais. Now, it doesn't matter whether we are looking at it from a school perspective or a work perspective, it works the same way. If you are talking to a senpai, you don't talk in tameguchi, you talk in keigo. So if a senpai comes up to you and goes, Ohayo. You don't reply back saying, Ohayo senpai. No, you reply back with proper fucking keigo, like this. Ohayo gozaimasu senpai. And that is where Japanese starts to get really fucking difficult for some people, even for Japanese people. It's this differentiating between talking to a senpai and talking to, say, a person who is either in the same level as you, hierarchically speaking, or below you, is the way you are going to speak to that person is really going to change. And to make things even more difficult, depending on how much of a senpai they are, you have to speak different types of keigo, but we're not going to go into that in this video. Okay, cool, Joey, but like, what if I'm like, not working and everything? Like, do I still have a senpai, or do I still have a kohai, or like, how does that work? Well, in actual fact, you do, because technically, everyone around you is either a senpai or a kohai of you. Because it's not just in schools and in the work environment, it also has to do relatively with age. There is a term in Japanese which is jinsei no senpai and jinsei no kohai. If translated directly, it would mean the upperclassman or the lower classman of life. So if a person is older than you, then they are technically considered jinsei no senpai, meaning a person who is 
come before you in your lifetime. And same goes with a person who is younger than you. They are technically jinsei no kohei compared to you. So technically speaking, if a person is older than you, whether they are working in the same work environment, in a different work environment, go to the same school or is in a different school than you, you have to technically talk kegel to them. And same goes with kohai, but that kohai has to speak kegel to you because to them, you are their jeans sandal senpai. Now here's a little pop quiz for you guys. Say you are working at a supermarket for one year as a job, and a new person has just come in on that day. It is their first day and they are introducing themselves. And you find out that they are actually two years older than you. So here's the question. Are they your senpai or are they your kohai? I'll give you some time to think about it. Time's up. If you guys answered that they would be your senpai, then you are correct. Because yes, although you are working in the same workspace, and according to the workspace hierarchy, you are their senpai because you have been working in that company, or you have been working in that same workplace for longer than they have. But since they are older than you, ultimately, the jinsen or senpai comes over the workplace senpai. And so even though it is their first day at the job, since they are older than you, you technically have to speak kegel to them. But on the contrary, that person who has just come in, who is older than you, is full aware that they are the most core high when it comes to the workplace. So even though you are younger than them, they are still gonna speak kegel to you because to them, even though they might be jinsen or senpai relative to you, you are still the senpai of the workplace relative to them. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why the word senpai is a lot more important than you think and is one of the sole terms that really defines the Japanese school culture, work culture, and just the hierarchical structure of the Japanese society in general. And now when I do try and explain this kind of stuff to my friends or whoever asks that question, I always think to myself, Thank God that the English language doesn't have this kind of structure. Because I mean, yeah, I'm used to it now when it comes to Japanese because I've been in this situation so many times with work and school and whatnot, but I'm, it just, it's so much easier to just casually talk to your boss or, you know, casually talk to the old guy across the street. You know, you don't have to be so overly polite. And I think that's one of my personal criticisms towards the Japanese culture. Like, they're very strict. They're very straight edge. Like, they're very not quite open with these kinds of social relationships as the Western culture is. What do you guys think about this? Do you prefer the kind of hierarchical structure that Japanese has or do you much prefer the open, you know, non-linear structure that the Western society has? I want you guys to let me know in the comments below. Also let me know what you guys would like to see in the next Japanese 101 video. If you guys want to know something about either the Japanese language, the Japanese society or the Japanese culture in general, now let me know in the comments below and I will definitely consider it in the next Japanese one-on-one -on -one video. Anyway guys, thanks for watching guys. Always like, favorite, enjoy. Subscribe for an air banner. See you guys next video, whatever I make. Keep watching anime. Johnny! Who are you today?